can't be the only person who struggles to find the motivation to clean my house at the end of the day. It's like by the time, you know, you've played with the kids all day, done your work, made dinner, you know, solved a few domestic disputes amongst your kids, you're pretty much ready to mail it in and yet you're left with a huge mess that you have to tidy up and you have to do baths and stories and bed still. And I cannot be the only one who struggles to find the motivation to tackle all that at the end of a full day. The reality is we are adults, which means we have to do it. <laughs> so if I have to do it, you have to do it so that we can tidy together. You ready? You want it, you're motivated to do it? Neither am I. Let's just do it, let's just do it. We'll feel good once it's done. We'll feel better once it's done. So I'm starting with my kitchen because it was a complete catastrophe. I had let the dishes pile up throughout the day and I also had uber eated myself some sushi for dinner because the kids were eating something different. So it was just a giant mess, which is honestly part of the reason why I probably didn't feel like cleaning because it just felt like such a mountain to climb. But have you ever heard that adage of how do you eat an elephant? you eat it one bite at a time. I feel the same way about cleaning. When you get really overwhelmed with cleaning and you feel like, oh, I don't even wanna do it because I don't know where to start, all you have to do is pick up one thing and put it away. Like just start. So pick up, okay, I'm gonna start with the dishes or I'm gonna start with putting things back where they don't belong um, or putting things back where they do belong, sorry. Um, just choosing to get moving and, and get going you will find the motivation and the motivation will come. Starting is always the hardest part. So just get to it and tackle it and you can do it. You'll see too that Brighton keeps crawling out of frame and then I keep carrying her back. And the reason for that is because when I was filming this, I hadn't put the baby gate going up the stairs yet because she hadn't really had any interest in the stairs. But earlier in the day, she had learned how to go up the stairs. You can see her peeking through there. Um, and so she kept trying to crawl up the stairs. So I had to keep running over and pulling her down because I hadn't put the baby gate yet. Uh, thankfully the baby gate is up now, so it's nice and safe, but you'll see I get a little bit of extra cardio with the amount of times that I had to keep crawling back. So, you know, if you want a drinking game, you can take a drink every time that I have to go get Brighton from the stairs. Again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Started. It's time to get my head up again You said that you had to I'll try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again Curious, are you someone who piles the dishes in the dishwasher or do you rinse your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher? There seems to be, you know, people on both sides of that camp. So I'm just curious how many of you rinse your dishes before you put them in and how many of you just feel confident in putting your dishes in even if there's bits of food on it. Let me know in the comments. Something it's hard to explain Remember that song we used to sing in the rain My God, the ice cream I've said it in my last two cleaning videos, but this Dyson vacuum is so good. If you have been considering getting the newest Dyson vacuum, I would say 
go for it. I mean, they're obviously not cheap, although apparently you can get refurbished ones from Best Buy and stuff, but, and save a little bit of money there. But honestly, guys, it is worth the money. It is the best vacuum I have ever used in my life, including the older versions of the Dyson. So now I'm just using my DIY all-purpose cleaner to clean all the surfaces. So I use this for pretty much all my cleaning other than windows. And all it is is you fill an old water bottle till it's almost all the way full. And then you put an eighth of a teaspoon, which for me is one pump of dish soap in there. And then you can add between five and 10 drops of essential oil if you would like. And it breaks grease, it cleans everything. You can use it on stainless steel and it is super cheap so you don't need to be buying an all-purpose cleaner I use this in the bathroom I use it in the kitchen I use it to dust and clean surfaces and it's easy to refill whenever it's empty and it needs refilling I've been doing this for years and not only is it economical but it's it works more powerfully than typical all-purpose cleaners that I had used in the past so you guys have to try it Next, I'm going to show you a way that I deodorize and kind of deep clean my sink. So I just use baking soda, a bit of dish soap, and some essential oil, and it scrubs it really clean. It gets rid of any kind of staining. It helps you not have to do deep scrubs if you just do this quickly at the end of each day, and it really, really helps deodorize. So I'll show you the exact way I do it next because I had to mix more up anyway. So all you do is take an old mason jar and you, you, know, you can get those at Dollar Tree if you need to buy a new one, and you fill it about halfway with baking soda, and then I add about 10 drops of lemon essential oil, and then I top it up again with more baking soda until it's at the top, and then I add about five more drops of lemon essential oil, and then just give that a good shake. And I like to shake it up again before I use it, but it's super simple. If you guys try it, make sure to tag me on Instagram and let me know how you like it. But baby, I don't want to lead you on Not looking for something steady Not ready for that I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine I'll show me what you can do Make a move The way my hands feel on your body Paper dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling The way my lips feel on
Now I'm just kind of tidying things up and putting things away. I like to charge the tablets that we have overnight so that the kids have them when they need them and they're fully charged each morning. And then I'm just kind of picking up along the way. But not too good at keeping promises, no. Next, it was time to pick up all of Brighton's toys. I think I said this in my last cleaning video, but this only stays clean for like two minutes, but it makes me feel better to put it away at the end of the day at least, knowing that, you know, it's fresh for the next day. Although, you guys are about to cringe so hard. I can't believe I didn't notice that and it was driving me nuts while I was editing. So the last thing that I had to do was vacuum all over just to pick up all the dog hair. I feel like Ellie is shedding like crazy right now. Those of you who have a dog, do you find that your dog is shedding a little bit more than normal right now? I don't know if it's like the change of the season, if she's already getting her winter coat or what, but there just seems to be like Eleanor tumbleweeds all throughout my house constantly. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Brighton has started a new game where she likes to take her balls and like little toys and throw them down the stairs because she likes watching them tumble. So as I'm cleaning the giant tumbleweeds that you can see there, uh, she also was kind of playing with me at the top of the stairs. So by the time we were done all this cleaning, that was the end of my nighttime cleaning routine. And we started our PM nighttime routine as a family. So if you're interested in learning what I do as a single mom as my nighttime routine, then that video is coming next week so you can get excited. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram. I'm at l.lindquist and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.